Hey there, Chad here from the AI Content Dojo. And I just had to do this video because it almost, I, I stumbled upon this by accident, but it turns out it should have been right in front of my eyes this whole time and probably in front of yours too. But, you know, when you get into the, you know, deep into things and you don't look up and kind of take a step back and think about it a little bit, it can be kind of, um, I guess, hidden behind the, the shades a little bit. And so what I'm going to show you, I'm just calling it AI Inception because it's almost like AI is creating your AI commands inside of Shortly here. Uh, so for example, right now you see on the screen, instruct, give me listicles for best kitchen appliances. Uh, let me just be a little bit more proper there for the best kitchen appliances. And what this is going to give me, and let me just show it, is of course, you know, listicle ideas. Uh, of what you might write about best kitchen appliances. I did shift command enter, so it's going to keep the command there while it gives me the results. And those are pretty awesome. And, um, you know, if you were writing uh, or looking to write a listicle about the best kitchen appliances, there you go, our bunch of ideas to help you, you know, plan out your articles. Um, but let's say that you want to come up with a lot more uh, angles on the different types of things you might write about. Uh, this might not work right now because I, I think that this is a bug, but I can show you a way to, to more reliably get it as well. So when you run a, in a command inside of shortly, you actually put your cursor at the end after the square bracket, right? And when you hit write for me or you hit command enter over here, like on the left, it will run that command and it will produce the results for you. But what happens if you put your cursor just inside of the square bracket? I did this on accident. I think I did it while I was on my mobile phone. And what it did kind of surprised me. Now, again, I'm going to hit right for me here. But I don't know if it's actually going to do this or not. I hope it does, just so I can show you that the, the sort of serendipity that I ran into. The lucky break, I guess. Let's see what happens. Oh, it didn't do it. Okay, well, I guess it's good that I showed you that it sometimes doesn't work as well. Because like I said, I don't think that this is an actual feature. This is just something that kind of I stumbled upon. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is let me just take this and copy it. And I'm going to create a couple more. Let's say give me listicles for best, uh, uh, let's see, kitchen appliances, maybe kitchen knives and... Uh, Let's see, cooking recipes maybe, you know, something like that. And so if you were blazing through trying to create a ton of different listicle ideas for your content, maybe you have a food blog or, a you know, a, an affiliate review blog or something like that. And you're just trying to come up with a bunch of ideas for what to write about. And, you know, maybe cooking recipes it might, might not be, but maybe cooking recipe books or things like that, you know, depending on what you're, you're after, you're essentially asking short, shortly for that information, right? To give you some ideas, you know, and, and usually the, your website is focused on more than just one pure topic, right? You know, you're going to have a lot of little subtopics and things like that inside of it. Uh, so let's see if, if shortly gives me what I'm expecting this time. If I just start with slash right here, and now I hit right for me, let's see if it starts giving me some more ideas. Oh, it only gave me one. <laughs> okay, but that's okay. We can just do it again. And eventually it should get to the point where it starts giving me a few. There we go, there we go. All right, uh, best knives under, like it wanted to finish that thought. Let's see what happens. If we let it finish that thought, is it going to stop? There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. That's, that's enough. All right. So now I've got a whole bunch of these commands pre-built for me, you know, and they're all based off of getting a listicle about something to do with, you know, dining and recipes and kitchen appliances and stuff like that. And if you're in the affiliate space and you're trying to write reviews and, and, and guides and other things, you know, top lists and stuff like that. This is probably going to be already amazing to you. Um, let me just go ahead and come back up here a little bit. 
And it's a little bit off pri primarily because there is no context other than the, uh, the basically this that's kind of getting it to stay with the kitchen theme, right? So let's just change this. Let's say um, kitchen. Let's just put kitchen there. And over here, just leave, well, for now, we'll just leave the article brief blank. What I'm trying to basically make sure is that there's no outside influence on the AI to bring back, you know, ideas that maybe aren't quite related. We do slash right for me. Let's see what we get. See if it stays really close to the kitchen stuff. All right, it does. Good, good. Take this back. Run again. There we go. Um, all right, take that one out. That one doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But as you can see, I'm starting to get all these commands. Now what I would do is I would just go through and do command enter and run them, you know, and come back with a ton of ideas that would be about that particular sort of subtopic. Let me, let me undo that one actually, because it might be better if you hold down shift command and enter or uh, return. Because what that will do is keep the command there. That way you know that that particular um, set of, I guess, listicles in this case are about uh, that particular, like right here, right? So let's clean that up a little bit. We could do it again here. And then we could just keep on going through all of them and come back with essentially, I mean, look at this. Look at this. That stuff is great. It's, I mean, it's on point. It's fast. I can just generate a ton of, it's literally AI inception. Like I said, right? the AI is creating the AI commands for you here and shortly. And you don't have to just do listicles, right? I mean, you can ask for anything, but be careful. You know, this is pattern matching. The reason that this is working is because it's a pattern. Uh, so well, actually let me undo that. Let me keep one of those commands there. So I'm going to type everything. And so what's going on is um, it's basically GPT three's the power of GPT three. You know, it's it's pattern matching, it's predicting what you're going to write next, and it sort of assumes that you're writing about you know you're writing these slash instruct commands. So it's going to write some for you too. And if you keep this on topic, you know you're going to get something pretty awesome. So let's see, let's see what happens if we make this um, sales support team maybe. And then we say, get, uh, we'll go back to here. We'll go write, write an accomplishment for leading a sales support team to a record quarter or something. Okay. Uh, let me just run this once to show you what this does. Should get back something pretty decent as far as, there you go. So it might be, you know, you're writing it for your resume or, or an awards package or something. If you're in the military, it might be a bullet, you know, um, those sorts of things. So, of course, you know, we, we want many angles on this. And so what we're going to do is do slash. Let's just start with instruct. Let's see if it can, if I give it a little bit more of a lead, if it just catches on right away and continues with a bunch of, of this content. Uh oh, nope. Okay, so it's not enough, right? So we need to make sure there's a pattern enough for it. It's not writing about accomplishments. We need to, uh, let's see, for, let's give it a different accomplishment for, uh, let's say coming in first place in a local uh, hackathon, okay? Something like that. Let's see what happens now if it stays with accomplishments. But like I said, this is not, and there we go. Okay. Slash. Let's keep going. And you kind of get the point. Uh, you can. Yeah. Okay. There we go. See, it, it's pretty awesome. Now, there's something I want to show you, too. After you've kind of got all these things going and you've got them all there, and maybe you have a kind of a search term, like you're, you're already planning for SEO, and you have some search terms in your head or some keywords that you want to follow, there's some things you can do to these commands, actually. Um, it's the, the new granular controls inside of Shortly. So if you wanted to say, this in, this one needs to have uh, the word IT in it. 
you would do plus 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 it that's like the strongest you know you could do plus plus it and you're kind of like saying you know please use it in this uh, result if you use plus 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 you're like can you really try hard to put it in the end result that doesn't mean you're going to get it but it does inform the ai to try to make sure that it puts it in there uh, you could do it the other way too. You could say minus minus, and that would be like, hey, please don't use IT in it. And if you do minus minus minus, in theory, it's supposed to be, it absolutely will not use IT in the result. Uh, but let's see if we can get IT added into that result. Um, local hackathon, let's say we want the word security to be in that one. And write an accomplishment for a local sales support. Um, we want time, like maybe they saved time. You can do more than one too saved let's say saved time um and we'll leave that one just normal and, and let's just see what happens when let me just put some space here okay let's run this one let's see what happens if, it, if we get the word it it's not going to do it is it nope let me rerun it just to see oh that was command backslash by the way there you go all right Ooh, that one's actually pretty good okay so let's see if we can get security to be in this one and no nope, let's run it again okay there we go invented a new technology for managing wow that's pretty cool um you know it is what it is the ai sometimes just kind of uh goes a little extra on you doesn't it all right, so I think you can kind of see the point. The reason I created this was to show you that you can use the AI to create your AI commands, your, your instruct commands. And just, you'll notice that as it's creating those, it's generating sort of an angle on them. And if you if you update your title up here, or maybe you add something to your article brief that's kind of on topic for your, your, your niche or whatever your site is, it's gonna try and keep within that as well when it's creating all those instruct commands for you. And then it, you can just, you know, go crazy and, and just generate tons and tons of either topic ideas or, or answer or questions even. You know what? Let me let me just uh, let's just go back here a little bit. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to. Let's try a, a different one. Um, well, let's just do kitchen uh, kitchen stuff again, and we'll do uh, a different thing inside of here. Be Give me some questions about kitchen appliances. All right, let me just show you what this should create. It should give me a list of questions that one might ask about this. All right, all right, pretty cool, right? It gives you a ton of topic ideas, things that you might want to answer for your readers. Let me take that away now, and let's see if we can get that pattern going. Give me some question about kitchen knives. And then now we have two of them going. If we do slash here and we have kitchen up here, and you could probably actually do a little cheater here, maybe really try and push it, put it over here too. And it won't have really any choice <laughs> almost, it seems. We'll see. All right, take that away. Kitchen safety, kitchen, it's like almost maybe like it's too focused. And uh, maybe we take that to kitchen goods. Uh, I don't really want that. Kitchen layouts is pretty cool. Okay, let's, let's try again. Let's get a little bit more. All right. That's weird. Okay, so. Now we have a whole bunch of different angles on the whole kind of concept of kitchen goods. And then you can just go through and start getting questions for all these different things. So we'll get kitchen appliances first and then we'll drop to kitchen knives. All right, make sure we got a dash there. We don't want that to affect what this kitchen layouts. Look at that. And yeah, I mean, obviously it puts like years and stuff that might not be the current year. You can just update that. Um, I'll say that's very good output. And so on and on and on and on. I've got either 
you know, I can get accomplishments, I can get questions, headlines, listicle ideas, uh, pretty much anything that you want. And if you want the AI to generate the commands for you and give you all kinds of different angles on that, you can do just exactly as I showed you. I hope that you found this useful. I mean, when I first ran into it, I was like, oh my God, what? Because I didn't realize what I did at first. And I was like, whoa, wait, wait, wait a minute. This is actually pretty cool. The AI is creating almost ideas for me that will then create the ideas. It's like, a, like I said, AI article in inception kind of in a way. So I just had to show you because it was just too cool. And um, I hope that this is something that shortly doesn't like fix because it's maybe some kind of a bug or something like that. You never know. Um, I don't think it is because it's kind of just pattern matching and, you know, writing out the, the content. It just happens to be that it's writing out instruct commands. Um, super powerful. If you find a way of using it that's more interesting and different than how I showed in this video, please leave a comment. I'd love to learn what you did. And uh, if you do use it and you find it extremely helpful, let me know. I'm always interested in, in seeing and hearing success cases too. And I really appreciate you taking the time to listen to this video. Please subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.